Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a video with hit 300 subscribers. Um, I thank you all so much for the... Uh, I just appreciate so much supporting the channel. How well last video did. There will be another episode coming. And um, yes, we're going to do a 2023 room tour. Now last time I did this, it was either uh, two or three years ago I did this. Um, so, you know, we're going to jump straight into it. So, this is my room right here. So, we've got the trusty gaming chair, which... I can't remember whether I had this in my last video. But, ever since I got this, I got this two years ago, I think, for Christmas. And it broke. Um, I'll throw up some pictures on a screen now. Basically, what happened was it's got a little metal plate that the seat sits on. And as I was using it, the plate was slowly bending and it sort of all collapsed. So we took it apart. I put it to the side and kept all the parts to the side. Didn't do anything with them. Um, but then my mum looked on one of the websites. She got me a, no, a teacher. It was like a teacher's chair from like primary school, or the chairs that teachers sit on. So I got that, I was using that, didn't really like it, and then I decided to pull it apart and found out that the base and everything was the exact same as the company that made this. Um, all the parts, they were a lot stronger, a lot more reinforced. So basically what me and my dad did was we cut the plate off the original um, thing, mounted it up because it was the wrong plate on the other chair, mounted it all up with a couple of bolts, look, I've just got underneath, so now I've turned the flash on, you can see here that we mounted it up with a couple of screws, they're a little bit rusty, but the underside of the chair you don't see, and it had a leg rest which I've actually got um, over here you can see, I've got this leg rest here and the two supports snapped. Um, my brother, he bought a 3D printer and we printed one off, test fitted it, it all fits, so that will be back on soon. So yeah, that's the chair, um, let's move straight across, you caught a little peek of it when I was showing you the foot plate for the chair. But this is what I have now, now, you might have remembered in my last um, room tour, I had a Series, uh, not a Series S, um, the Xbox One S, which was the slim line version of the Xbox One. Now, very recently, I've upgraded to the Series X, which is Xbox's top of the line Xbox at the moment. Um, so yeah, I've got two controllers, a Venom charging port. I believe I had one of these when I had my Xbox One S as well. Um, we still got the original controller here that I actually got with the xbox and you know it's pristine condition and i've not used it i've only used it a couple of times to wear it in a little bit but that's basically the backup for if one of these two breaks because one of them you may remember in my last room tour two years ago my red controller broke now i got a replacement red controller and then that one too broke so my brother took it back to the store and they said, sorry, we, the, the Xbox don't send us the old style controllers anymore. So you can take your pick at a Series X one. So I picked the red one. And then later on down the line, I bought the blue one as well. Um, so yeah, so I was playing with them on my Xbox One S. And then I got this one with the console. So now moving across, I keep on the mouse set up. Still exactly the same, same mouse pad. Um, upgraded monitor now, this is a Samsung monitor. Um, it's not a 4K one, it's nothing fancy like that. But, um, you know, it does the job, it gets things done. It's a really nice monitor, really high quality. But again, it's, it's a really good piece of equipment. Um, even though, you know, I have some plans for my stuff. Um, I, I don't know what it could be next. But um, we could possibly be getting stuff for what I will show you in a minute. But So now the most recent addition 
to the setup is the Razer uh, Kraken. Um, and this is a headset, it usually costs £80, but we got it on a good sale. This was my Christmas present for my brother and my sister because, you know, I needed a new one because the old one, I've actually still got it. Um, let's just dive. So I've still got my old um, headset. If we dive into this drawer here, uh, you can see it's a bit of a mess, but we've got my sister's one here and my one. We both had the exact same headsets and the mic just kept breaking on them. So I decided that I wanted a new headset. My sister and my brother bought me this. And uh, yeah, so moving on, we're gonna move across to the tower, the custom modified tower that me and my dad did. This used to be a bookshelf, but we basically cut the back out of it, put the put the um, lowered the shelves, put the consoles in there. You can see I've got my models. I believe I had them um, back in the day as well, but they're in a different place. Um, more models down there, the bike's falling over. And we've got a Xbox 360 Slim. Now, this was way before I had any of my uh, Series X um, and that. This was one of my old consoles. I wanted the Series S because it, um, well not the Series S, I keep calling it the Series X. I wanted the Xbox 360 S because it solved the Red Ring of Death issues which plagued most Xbox 360s and with the release of this they solved the issue so you didn't have to worry about it anymore. So yes that's my Xbox 360. Moving up here we have an old PlayStation 2. Now this PlayStation 2 you know I vaguely remember it when I was younger my my brother's playing with them. My brother got one way before I got one, like, um, I don't know, probably about five years ago he got his. And then me and my sister both got one for Christmas um, two years ago as well, I think. Um, we both got, we both wanted PlayStation 2s. And uh, here's mine, original controller. Now I do have a knockoff controller that I was using. But what I decided to do, this Sony one, the, the genuine one, was so nice to play with. I thought I'm going to take the um, cheap controller, take, every, take it apart and take all the screws out. Because this had a few screws missing, meaning that it, it pretty much fell apart in your hand. So I took the screws out of the other one and uh, screwed them all into this controller. And now I've got a perfectly working... Um, old ps2 controller and there was a little bit of plastic rattling around inside so i took it apart took a piece of plastic that's rattling about out it wasn't nothing major and uh yeah so that's my playstation 2 now moving across you can see my laptop that is a lenovo i don't know what brand it is i know that it's a lenovo though that's my sister's old college laptop um but then moving next to that, we've got my Logitech G920 um, racing sim steering wheel. So this sets you back about, I don't know, about 200? I think it was around 200 for this. But I know it was a little bit more because you get the Logitech shifter in. It was sort of bundled with all of them. And you've got the steering wheel, pedals, and the shifter all in one. Um, I've got that two years ago. Um, my first video I did, I was driving Fernando Alonso's 2006 championship winning car around Spa, because at the time I was playing F1 2020, because it was around the time I also did a challenge video with Kyle, which was the, um, he controlled the pedals, I controlled the steering. Um, so we did that um, with it. So yeah, th th this, it's really good. If you want to get started out in sim racing, it's a really good starting point because obviously the dream for me is to get a Fanatec. But this does the job just as nice as any big piece of equipment that you could get. But if you're going to take sim racing more seriously and you're playing games like iRacing and that, which I've never touched, but you know, I've played Project Cars 2, a set of Corsa, um, games like that, F1, I play on it. And, um, 
yeah, so then we move up to the Hitachi soundbar that I use on my big TV. Now, if I remember rightly, the big TV, not this big TV, but a big TV, was over on this wall. But now I've got a sound system, CD towers, you know, up there you can peek at uh, my obsession with Monster Energy. Um, but yeah, not healthy, but you know, I, I, I do like the monsters. And um, yeah, then we got the Hitachi TV. I can't remember how big this is, but um, you know, it does the job. Sometimes I move the Xbox from there to there, but it's handy to have because if I have people like Kai around, he can set his console up on it and we could be playing at the same time, same games on the internet with each other. And um, yeah, so that's all the gaming related stuff, but I'm gonna move across and show you the rest of my room. So I've got shelves here for like storage of like books and this non-working Bluetooth speaker, but it makes a nice decorative piece. Um, over here, We've got my other hobby, other than, other than gaming, which is actually playing guitars. So I've got a Harley Benton, which great replica of, um, great replica of a Strat, really nice to play. Now that's the first guitar that I ever owned, but the first guitar that I ever played was this one. But this one I got last Christmas. It's my brother's old guitar. Um, I remember him saying to me when I did my last video, um, about the amp that, um, you know, the amp here, it, um, I didn't mention that it was his, he gave it to me. Um, the pedal board there, that's got all my pedals for playing guitar. Um, I've got the Encore um, acoustic, which is also my brother's. And um, yeah, so they're my two guitars. That's my other hobby, if you wonder what it was. Um, I've got an Amazon Alexa there because it's handy to have if I want to listen to music and I don't want to use that. Um, so yeah, and then I've just got stuff and storage for, for um, all my clothes and then my bed, obviously. So yes, that pretty much concludes our video here. I hope you have enjoyed. Um, seeing my room and seeing my most recent hobbies of what i like to get up to um there'll be more gaming videos on the channel but i wanted to do this for 300 subscribers as um you know i didn't have this sort of equipment when i um when i started my channel and i like to see i, I like to make these these videos and milestones of how things are going basically so i hope you guys have enjoyed um please do subscribe thank you so much for 300 subscribers i still can't believe that it that i've reached this milestone it's not very big can't make money from youtube yet but i don't care about money i like entertaining people i like making people happy and uh yeah so i will see you guys in the next video